I get all kinds of questions about the iliopsoas muscle. So in this video, I'm going to show you on the skeleton where it is and what it does. In the next video, I'll show you on the real dog. So this is Spike. There's his head. There's his neck. Oop, we're going to put him around this way. His thoracic area where the ribs come off, lower back or lumbar. And then we're going to flip him over. So here's his pelvis and his back leg. So hip, knee, all the way down to his ankle or hock or tarsus. If we flip this over, here's pelvis, here's his sacrum. So then we have seven, six, five, four, three, two. The iliopsoas starts on the outside, these little transverse processes of L2, L3, and then lies right next to the spine, what we call the vertebral bodies, coming all the way down to L7. It meets up with iliacus. So this is psoas major. Iliacus comes right from here, and they come down. And if you see, here's the femur. If we roll it on the inside, there's a bump that sticks out here. That's called the lesser trochanter. That muscle ends right there. So when we talk about stretching, does it make sense that when the dog is running and his spine is in extension and his leg is extended, we're actually stretching that muscle hugely. So when we assess it or check it, we want to bring it in short and then flex the leg so that we can feel it without it being painful. All right, this is On the Bones. See you in a minute on the dog.